welcome back to the Hermitcraft FTV server. Things have been moving along here. Slowly at first, but a little bit of progress has been made since the last video. Some of which has been done in live streams. Although, I've come to the conclusion that the uh, my internet is not up to being able to stream FTB while playing it. Uh, I end up with so much block lag. And I mean, I don't, like for example, wait, let's see. I don't have block lag right now. You know, I don't have any of these blocks reappearing and having to cut them twice and stuff like that. When I'm streaming, that's I get more of that than anything else. I, I get block lag so bad it's pathetic and so on. Anyway, there's been some suggestions that have proven quite helpful. Like, for example, the advanced item collector from Random Things. You set that up and you right-click on it. I've set the radius on it to 10 in all three directions. And it grabs anything that is that falls in there and it dumps it into the inventory down below it. And so I've got one here and one over here to take care of drops from these tree farms. Which, by the way, I've got it set so that the planter underneath does not do any planting when there is more than 75,000 logs in the inventory, in the system in there. And so... That way the harvester and the fertilizer continue to do their thing, well, as long as there's anything to harvest or fertilize. But the planter will not put out any more, any additional samplings until the stock goes down that low. And I've got another farm set up over there, and I'll get to that in a minute. I've expanded my uh, machines here a little bit so that I can keep stuff processed. Like, for example, I ran out of tin ingots, so I set up to automatically pulverize and cook tin ingots. And gold also got short. And uh, let's see, opal cobblestone, I've got it set up to cook all of that that comes in because I've decided to use opal cobblestone, opal stone, as the exterior walls of the new base. Now this is an area, three chunks by three chunks, that I dug all the way down to bedrock with a quarry. And this is going to be the new industrial tower complex. It's all going to be built in here. It's going to go all the way to bedrock. The floors will be every eight blocks. Down here in the bottom most level is where I'm intending to put most of the power generation facilities. Because, you know, with all this uh, void particles and void fog problems and all that crap and so on. And plus, there's a lot of lava down here that I can pump out and use for power generation. I did notice that of the nine chunks, one of those chunks didn't come out with flat bedrock. Now, if I recall correctly, there is something that can move, that, that can at the very least destroy the bedrock. Possibly move it. And I want to find out what that is and arrange for this chunk to be just as flat as the rest of them. But uh, other than that, working on things, I've got this uh, grid laid out here. To show, you know, they're right. It's right on the chunk markers boundaries. If I hit F9, you see that this grid is set up here, right on the chunk boundaries. Now, what I'm going to do is this central chunk right here on what is going to be ground level. This chunk is going to be where the molecular assembly chamber goes. The Mac from A. But the thing is, this Mac is going to occupy that entire chunk on this level. You know, it's going to start like, uh, well, like right there would be the first corner. And I keep stepping off of the wall, off the floor here. 
So that would be one corner of the of the Mac, and it would go up 16 blocks. This Mac, this Mac is going to be 16 by 16 by 16, and it's going to be filled half and half with pattern providers and crafting CPUs. So it's going to be the biggest Mac I've ever heard of, at the least. The Big Mac, or perhaps you might call it the Super Mac. Now over here, this platform where I originally had the uh, quarry, I set up a thing here with the magical crops. And right now I've got Certus Quartz crops growing because I found the recipe for Certus Quartz seeds. I've got four of them. There's not much right now. But this is the testing area. I started out doing glowstone seeds and then gold seeds because I needed the essences to make Oh, let's see. Alright. Uh, okay. Alright, there we go. These infusion stones. The weak one, that was easy enough to make. The regular needed coal essence or dye essence or water or fire or you know and I've I finally managed to get this sucker made with coal essence I found some coal seeds and when you grow these magical crops you get these essences when they can harvest and then of course the next one up glowstone essence use that to make that one and then this one gold essence and then finally the extreme the master infusion stone uh, diamond essence, I believe. Yes. So, then I found the seed recipe for the Certus Quartz crop. And let's go ahead and pull those all out of there. And I need to get some more of these Certus Quartz seeds made. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a, get a stack of them. What in tarnation? Oh, Yan Machine over here grabbed them and planted them. Let's fix that. Turn that off. Take these. And now I've got all my. It's interesting, they don't stack together, but they're the same thing. Huh. Anyway, got all my Certus Quartz seeds. Make sure there's no more in here. Ran out of essence dust. Okay, I'll cancel the rest of that order for right now. But, now I can come over here to this new farm. And set this to export Certus Quartz seeds into here. Go ahead and drop these back in the system. And now it's planting Certus Quartz stuff. Of course it's only planting a 3x3. Three three. I need to get an upgrade in there. That's a 10 upgrade. That's not going to do it. I, I need the diamond upgrade for that. Here we are. Diamond. There we go. For the planter and the harvester. Alright, let's drop it in the planter. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the harvester is the one that needs the... Yeah.
why it didn't take all of them is I guess the ones that grow have a different ID. Okay. Let's try disconnect and then reconnect the power. Uh, okay. Let's just go ahead and grab whatever seeds there are, plant them manually. Oh, it was finally getting around to it. That's all I had to do is wait, and I'm impatient, so I didn't wait. All right. There we go. Now, when these things get harvested, I get the seed back, and I get... Let's see if we can show it. Certus Quartz Essence. And the way the Certus Quartz Essence works is that, get to a crafting table here, Certus Quartz Essence, eight of them like that, gets me Certus Quartz Ore. So I go ahead and plant them down, hit them with the fortune pick. Now I can throw some more Certus Quartz into the system and Certus Quartz Dust. And that will, over time, allow me to make more of the seeds. Until finally I have enough to keep this entire section planted. And uh, I'm thinking I might just make two or three more of these Certus Quartz farms. Because with wanting to expand the AE system as much as I want to expand it, I'm going to need crap tons of it, and it frankly isn't coming in fast enough. Okay, come on. All right, so to support all of this, I've got Cory set up again. And this was something of an adventure itself. This high-voltage solar array is what's powering the whole thing. And as much work as it took to make, you'd think it would have more of an interface than that. But, I mean, seriously. I set up all the recipes in the assembler, and this is why I ran short of so many materials. I told it, craft one high-voltage solar array. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? But in order to make one of these, you have to make 512 of the regular solar panels, plus a whole bunch of medium voltage and high voltage transformers, and so on. So this thing is feeding the energy bridge, which is providing power through this extra utilities energy transfer node into the Quarry Plus. Quarry Plus is going full blast, working is 256 by 256 Quarry. I'll get a lot out of it, but it's going to take it a little while to get down deep enough to where all the goodies are. But it will get there. And actually, I'm tempted to put together the stuff and make a second one and have two of them going at once. I've got enough storage set up here, and as I get enough quartz, I'm making more of these 64K drives to put in here and so on. So the idea here is that once this thing out here gets far enough along in the construction, all of this is moving over there. And instead of having a 4x4 Mac, I'm going to have a much bigger one. It's going to be huge freaking mongus. 
and it will have all the capability for all the things. Of course, one of the things I'm going to have to do early on is get power infrastructure in place. And I'm thinking to start with get a pumping system put together and start pumping out this lava into a tank, get some magmatic engines or something, geothermals, some kind of thing to use that lava to generate the power that is going to be needed. And of course also have facility to store all of that power. Current power generation is happening down here. I've got, what is it, 16 of these steam dynamos, and they are coal fi charcoal fired, which means they're running off the tree farms. And I've got a bunch of these 10 million RF redstone energy cells storing power. I think I need to get a bunch more of those made and put together a serious power grid for future setups. There's a couple more here. They, these two feed into the Mac, and they also run power out to, uh, actually, one of those down here. One of the ones down below feeds power out to the tree farms. And so, things are getting there. Let's check on this thing. How are we doing here? Let's have a look in the system. Quartz. I don't see any quartz essence just yet. No, not at the moment. Okay. Time to get rid of the rain noise. Ah, that's much better. Nice and quiet. Okay, now the one thing about this setup here is this fertilizer and I'm getting the same opinion about industrial fertilizer or the forestry fertilizer and that is I'm not sure if it's having much of an effect on the uh, magical crops and so I thought that it might be an idea to try this lily pad of fertility uh, let's see, first thing I want to find out. I don't have any lily pads in the system. So I need to find some lily pads and then set up to make a bunch of these lily pads of fertility and put them around this area and see if they have a beneficial effect. So I'm going to go for a fly around all this water and see if I can find some lily pads with which to make them. All right, I'm back. I come up with almost a stack with, of lily pads, so that's a good start. All right, now, let's see. Let's get some patterns put together. Encode that one. And we'll need this splash fertilizer. And I need to change that so that it uses bone meal, which I have plenty of. Actually, I've got white tree dye, a bunch of it, so I may change to use that as well. I don't know. For right now, I'll set it for bone meal because I have that, and I know. Well, whatever. Anyway, now this... And then finally, well, I, okay, this thing. All right, let's drop these in here. First up, we need a bunch of these vials. Vial of ordinary water, empty vials craft a stack of empty vials. Now I need to fill these things. 
Let's see, there's water right over here. Um, I know I had more than that. Oh, I get it. It only stacks to 16. Okay. Fine. Okay. Get these things filled up and start getting the stuff necessary to make up some lily pads of fertility. And get those around the farm. As far as, uh, I was talking about streaming, as far as FTV, I've come to the conclusion that my internet just doesn't have enough going on to uh, live stream FTV, at least not at this time. And so, I'm going to... Uh, Well, let's see if we get ten of them. Okay, it's going. It's not super fast, but it's going. Uh, my streaming, what I'm going to be doing there is daily live stream. And I'm going to be doing Kerbal Space Program, career mode. Seeing just how much I can get done before the new version of Kerbal Space Program comes out and we're out of gunpowder. Okay, let's just cancel the rest of those. We've got four. There's some water buckets. And some dirt. All right, now let's do something here and see if it works. Ugh. I'm going to put it right along this side right here. Pardon me, I will learn to navigate eventually. All right. Now see if those have an effect. If they do, then the ones the plants closest to them should mature a lot faster. And that should increase the uh, yield of Certus Quartz Essence. Although, yes, it's going to take a while. Regardless. Of course, I suppose I could stand here with the watering can to see if that will speed things up at all. And it seems to. The fact that there's water here also hydrates the dirt, so I'm pretty sure that helps. Okay, so I'm thinking I get several of these Certus Quartz farms going once I have enough raw materials to make the seeds necessary. And that will get things going. So, anyway, the live streaming. Kerbal Space Program, I'll be starting late morning to early afternoon. Every day of the weekdays, probably most weekends as well. And I'm going to be going and see how much I can get done before the new 
version 0 0.24 comes out and anybody that's interested in uh, Kerbal Space Program I saw some news recently on their recent DevNote Tuesdays post 0 0.24 is going to include a Windows 64-bit build they're finally getting up to 64-bit version so I can't wait to see what they get done with that and how good that turns out to be and of course they've got all kinds of other new things they're putting into it and improving and so on so I'm looking forward to that meanwhile I'm going to continue working on this place off camera and in videos and see what we can get going on here in the meantime I'm gonna have to babysit this farm for quite a while to get enough stuff put together to make enough seeds to fill it and then to build another one on top of it and fill that but we're getting there that place is going to be a reality thanks for watching take it easy I'm